We'll start in LinkedIn's Campaign Manager. Once you're logged into your Campaign Manager, you want to head over to Analyze and the Conversion Tracking page. Here you can click on Create Conversion and the Conversions API option. I'm going to create a lead-based conversion, so I will name it Cappy Lead. I added the Cappy prefix to the name to make it easier for me to identify the source of these conversions in LinkedIn's reporting down the line. I'll select the conversion behavior as lead as this is going to be the lead-based conversion. And I'm going to leave the other settings as is, but feel free to change the attribution window and the attribution model to specify how you want LinkedIn to attribute your conversions. We'll click on next step. This page shows you a list of available sources for LinkedIn's conversion API. However, for the purpose of this demo, we will focus on Zapier specific data sources. As I mentioned earlier, LinkedIn supports the following seven CRM to our embed experience templates, HubSpot, Marketo, Salesforce, Dynamics 365, Zoho, Pipedrive, and ActiveCampaign. If you're not using one of them, then you can simply specify Zapier as the data source. Click on next step. Assign the campaigns that you want to track and then click on create. Once this is done, you can head over to the Zapier's platform and create your new Zap with the relevant trigger and specify the action as LinkedIn's conversion. As part of this configuration, when you're configuring the action, you will be able to select the conversion rule that you created within LinkedIn's campaign manager. For today's demo, I will show you how to set up Salesforce via our embed experience. So I'm going to go back. Let's go back to the previous step. We'll click on change. And I'm going to click on Salesforce via Zapier here. We'll click on accept and continue. On this page here, you can either log in with your existing account, or you can also sign up for a new Zapier account if you don't have one. In my case, I'm going to use my existing account, so I'm going to click on Continue. Let's authorize this as well. Once the page loads, you will see the source being Salesforce via Zapier at the top of the page. Under the Trigger and App section is where you can select the trigger you want to choose for Salesforce. So in my case, I'm going to select when a new lead comes in. And for the Salesforce account itself, I'm going to go ahead and select my test account. If you don't see your account in the list here, then you can simply click on the connect a new Salesforce account button to connect your Salesforce account. Under the action section is where you can map the data that Zapier is receiving from Salesforce to the relevant LinkedIn's CAPI attributes. So for email, I'm going to go ahead and select email. For first name, I'm going to select first name. Let's map last name to last name. For company, let's map company information. I'm going to leave the revenue information as blank because there's no revenue coming in as part of these leads since they're just newly created. For the time of conversion event, I'm going to set that as the create date. And let's go ahead and click on next step. On this page here, I'm going to choose the campaigns that I want to track with the conversion rule that I'm creating here and then click on create. So I'm going to select this lead generation campaign that I have and then click on Create. Once you do click on the Create button, you'll see the conversion rule will be created and become visible within the Conversions Tracking page. A Zap will be created and enabled within the Zapier's platform with the settings that I selected in the flow itself. As we can see here, the current status of the conversion rule we just created is unverified because LinkedIn has yet to receive any data. Let's go ahead and shift over to the Zapier's platform to view how the Zap that was created by LinkedIn as part of this flow looks and perform a 
quick test run. So we'll click on the zaps. We can see the zap that was created as part of this flow here. So let's go ahead and click on it. We will click on edit zap. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the trigger. We'll test this trigger to make sure that there is data coming in from Salesforce. And we can see these three records were pulled by a zap here. So I'm going to go ahead and just select this first one. And we'll continue with this. And now we can check the settings for the action. We'll click on the configure tab and here's where we can see the account information and the conversion rule information as well. So this is the ID that's associated with the conversion rule that we created. If you are creating the conversion rule within LinkedIn's campaign manager with simply Zapier as a source, you're going to click on these three dots here and then it'll search for the conversion rule you created, simply select it and it'll show up here. So we'll go ahead and cancel out of that. And we can see all the mapping that we did within LinkedIn's campaign manager here. So the email information is here, first name, last name, company, and then we can see the conversion event time here at the bottom. One thing that I want to highlight here is that once you do create your conversion rule within LinkedIn uh, for the embed experience, you're not going to be able to edit the zap settings within LinkedIn afterward. So for instance, if you want to go ahead and add the title information, you're going to have to come within Zapier, open up the relevant zap and simply do the mapping changes there. So in this case, let's go ahead and add the title information from here. We'll select title and then click on continue. At this point, we can sort of see the information that was pulled in by Zapier from Salesforce. And let's go ahead and test this step. We see the response code as success from LinkedIn. At this point, we know that this conversion event was sent successfully to LinkedIn by Zapier. If there are any issues with your setup, let's say, for example, the formatting is incorrect for one of the attribute, you'll see an error message here that indicates as such. In this case, we can see the result is successful. So we'll go ahead and just publish this. And let's go back to the LinkedIn's campaign manager and see if this changes. We can see that the status of the conversion rule that we created has changed out to active. And if we click on it, we can see that the last signal was received just a short while ago. At this point, your setup is complete. Once Zapier starts to receive data from Salesforce, it'll send it to LinkedIn. And then once LinkedIn receives it, it'll process the data for optimization.